A lot of uh, people in Helsinki are working uh, pretty kind of uh, freelance style or like fragmented jobs. And we, we all have like a several times a week like extra two hours time to kill in the city center so instead of just going to a shopping mall or a coffee shop there was this idea of like building a shared non-commercial space so the audi library is organized on di three different levels so what we basically done with uh, with the architectural concept of the building is to take the public space uh, catalog that the citizens wanted and then uh, define three different levels in the city center, which all have very different uh, contact with the urban heart of Helsinki. The uppermost floor where we are right now is a kind of uh, open landscape of library which is kind of floating above the city. So we are a little bit uh, removed from the kind of noise of the street, the traffic, the kind of people passing by and peeking in and uh, just uh, happening to visit the building. And this is a more kind of quiet uh, space for contemplation, for reading, for thinking, for like intellectual activities, maybe more for also like individual activities. And then in between these two open spaces, this may be the most interesting part of the building. It's actually like a solid floor in, in between the open floors, which then bends down at the ends to create a bridge structure. And then there are a lot of rooms and spaces inside the bridge structure. So we have an open ground floor, open top floor, and divided by a bridge. Really typical for Finland. I am really glad that we have this great new library here in downtown Helsinki. It's uh, one of the greatest uh, achievements, I think, in Finland is the education, and uh, the libraries, the library system has supported that for a century in Finland or longer. Public libraries have from the very beginning in places where people can go to develop themselves, to study, to read, to get books. And the same basic task they have even today. Also very important is the matter of lifelong learning and equality. So people can come to libraries to get different skills, not only reading books, but also learning to use different equipment, uh, to use computers, for example, 3D printers, UV printers, all kinds of different equipment. Libraries are one of my favorite places in Finland, and having a library card is very important for me. So having this kind of a magnificent building um, with all these services, so central in Helsinki, and uh, as a like a, to celebrate Finland's history, it's just fantastic. Finnish people are very enthusiastic library goers, and we start educating our children to go to libraries from early on. Parents take their children to libraries, and also schools and libraries have very strong cooperation. Teachers go to libraries with their classes. Another important thing about the Audi Library is that it's uh, the main library space, the top floor where we are here right now, is uh, elevated to about the same level as the entrance level of the Finnish uh, parliament, 
which is uh, facing the library across the kind of uh, this public, large public space, Citizens Plaza. So in a way, the library elevates the kind of uh, the, the people, the kind of uh, intelligent uh, learning and critical people to kind of face, uh, face their representatives, the members of the parliament, eye to eye.